Today is March 29th, I think, and I am on the AZT. Started from Montezuma Pass, and Carson's mom uh, walked the first three to three and a half miles with me. I'm gonna do about 50 miles in three days. I'm gonna end up in, at Patagonia, and I am solo. It's been a while since I've had a heavy pack on my back. But here we go. Just past the turnoff to Miller Peak, but I am not going to do that. Uh, so I am about at 9,000 feet of altitude, and I think it's mostly downhill from here. I think I already did most of the climb. Yeah, going good. It cooled down a little bit, and I'm feeling good. And here is my first official water source. Bathtub spring. I do have, I think about 15 miles until my next reliable water source. Um, and I have like a liter and a quarter, so I might end up grabbing some uh, just in case. Most of the hike the rest of the way is downhill. So uh, the weight, I mean the weight matters, but <laughs> it could be worse. It's not gonna be that. It's not gonna make or break my back or my trip. Yum. Taking a midday snack break. Um, so before I get to that, I had a Lenny and Larry cookie. That thing has like 420 calories. And then I picked this up last minute. Uh, it's my first time trying them. I've heard a lot of great things. Holy molasses. <laughs> this thing almost tastes like taking spoonfuls of molasses. Some people might not like that, but I don't mind it actually. It's like blueberry molasses mixed together. Pretty good. I've been going, I've been going down, down switchbacks from way up there somewhere and the view is kind of different things are looking a little di bit different over here than they were back there but yeah i'm more than halfway through my day this is not really what i pictured for the arizona trail this is not what i thought it would look like oh there's a cow oh there's a lot of cows Hi, baby cow. Okay. Ooh, real narrow. Oh, I don't know if I can get through here. I think I have to take my pack off to get through here. I'm gonna scratch my pack up. I am almost 17 miles in for the day. So I might start looking for a campsite. Um, hopefully I find a good one. I've not seen a single person in hours. Creaky windmill. Oh, I hate these kinds of gates. Yeah, I need both hands. Honestly, I was thinking of camping somewhere around here. But that is creepy as... 
found a spot that I would like to camp for the night and my phone says I did almost 18 miles but my watch no my watch says I did almost 18 miles but my phone said I did almost 17 miles so we'll say I did 17 and a half something somewhere around there somewhere between 17 and 18. Uh, today is the hardest day I had 3,000 feet of gain and I think about 4,000 feet of loss um, and the next two days are going to be easier than that less gain and less loss so a lot more flat. I'm tired. <laughs> I have not a lot of water left. I have this much this much plus um, like about a half liter that I grabbed from that bathtub spring. I am going stoveless um, and I'm not using water to cook so um, one of the reasons was because I just didn't want to deal with the water situation. I'm gonna set up the tent. Okay, I am all set up, so let's go inside and see what I brought. Okay, inside we have my REI Flash 34 bag. I've had this thing a while. Whoa, holy cow. Um, I've had this thing for a while now. Uh, yeah, it's okay. It's um, not the lightest bag, but it's good enough. Here I have my Thermarest stuff sack pillow. I have had this thing for probably almost 10 years now and inside I have an extra pair of underwear, extra pair of socks, and my down jacket. And then here is my uh, Thermarest Neeler X-Therm and if you are familiar with my other videos, um, I don't love this thing. It's, I'm just not, I'm not comfortable on it. Um, makes a lot of noise. That doesn't, that's not what bothers me. I'm just not comfortable on it, uh, but it's light and it's warm. So, and I don't want to spend money on a new pad when I have one that works, you know, pretty fine. So, um, yeah, one day I will replace that and get something probably heavier that I'm more comfortable with. Um, I have my knock uh, Vecto, yeah, knock Vecto 2 liter that I used with my Sawyer Squeeze here. Over here I have Carson's face. <laughs> this bag was, um, from Hilltop Packs. They made this for me. Super cool. Um, I have all kinds of goodies in there. Food and electronics and, yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, so tonight I'm sleeping with my backpack because I have the room, so why not? This is a Waymark pack. It is a 38 liter, um, including the pockets. And I also put this on. This isn't supposed to go on it, <laughs> but um, I love this little pouch. I've been keeping it on the front of my um, hips belt straps um, which are just like one inch straps so they're not very substantial but I like having this thing basically like a fanny pack and yeah it's my first time using that pack and so far so good 38 liters is pretty nice for this trail didn't have to bring a berry canister what else anything fun nope just got it my in reach snacks the sun is going down, uh, I think it's close to 7 p.m. Uh, well, I think the sun is down. Uh, the sun has set already and I'm gonna eat some dinner. I kind of just brought a bunch of snacks and stuff. One of the things I brought was one of my favorites, two new creations, but I have a bunch of other things. Things include also peanut butter and graham crackers, which was another favorite of mine on the John Muir Trail. Yeah, so I'm going to do that, and then lay down, go to sleep. It is 7.15 a.m., and I feel like crap. <laughs> I've got a nasty headache, really, really nasty headache. I'm not sure why, um, but I do have naproxen, so that will help. <sighs> yeah, another long day but a lot less uphill and a lot less downhill. So 
Maybe it'll go faster, be easier. Oh, I look real cute. Okay, so <clears throat> I took my time this morning. I took some naproxen. My headache is finally going away, but if I like bend over, or turn my head funny, it like the headache comes back. I'm ready to get going for the day. Um, not a super early start, but not a super late start. Here we go, day two. <clears throat> Back on the road. I am only about a half mile in and I am about to cross Montezuma Canyon Road, which is, I think, another dirt road. Um, and I found water here, but it has a name on it. Kelsey, April 6th. So, love you. Good job. Oh, congrats, Kelsey. You have nice friends or family. So, unfortunately, I cannot take that water. I'd probably take a little bit of water if there was public water, but I'm not seeing any water that is for the public. That's okay. I do have enough. It's just that... I have barely enough. <laughs> I ended up chugging water after um, having my headache problem this morning, so um, I have a little bit less than I would prefer, but that's okay. And here we are. Here's Montezuma Canyon Road. For those that don't know, the Arizona Trail is split up into passages. I don't know how many passages there are, but passages there are, but the Arizona Trail is about 800 miles total. Um, I started passage one at Montezuma Pass, and today I'm going to, or, or this morning, I'm going to get to the end of passage one, and then maybe get through most of passage two. Yeah, and then I'm ending at the end of passage three, in Patagonia, Arizona. Oh, what is this? Through hikers, please, thanks. Oh, is there any left? Oh, nice. There's a little bit in here. This one also says through hikers. Oh, yay! Thanks for whoever did this. I did not expect water right here. I'm going to take just a little bit uh, because I don't need all of it. That way, someone else gets some. Cool. I grabbed this much. It's enough to um, help me stay on top of hydration and get to the, the next uh, filter spot in a few miles. Sweet. I think this is the end of passage one and the start of passage two. What is the Arizona Trail? Off I go. Cool. Wonder what did that? How does this one work? water <laughs> nice tons of water a rare sight on this trail so far i'm definitely going to camel up here oh this looks great okay so i am going to carry four liters of water <laughs> i drank a bunch of water and filled back up i have four liters um, I did see a couple through hikers and I helped them filter their water because they had the uh, the Sawyer bags that come with the Sawyer filters and um, Yeah, they were struggling to get water in them. So I used my knock Vecto uh, to help them fill their bags um, And then they took off 
Uh, so I'll see if I catch them. But yeah, they're doing the full thing. They're from Vermont. That was cool. Um, the first people I've seen in like 24 hours. <laughs> I took a long break, had a snack, drank a bunch of water, hydrated, and I am ready to go. Yeah, this is awkward, isn't it? It is. It's even different than talking to my own camera. I know. <laughs> my name is Ryan Kodak Brown. That's also the name of my YouTube channel. I am currently through hiking the AZT and I'll go and hike the PCT after this. Um, yeah, I don't know, I've been kind of dirtbagging it for the last like eight years and just kind of just being a dirtbag, living out here, living rough and doing anything I can to get by. So I did the Arizona Trail by bike a few years ago. So for me, this is all new now, or not all new, but at least the wilderness sections are new. So I got to go through like Miller Peak Wilderness and that was like all new trail, like going up and over the mountain. So that was really fun. And I'm really looking forward to getting through like these other wildernesses, especially like Suaro and Superstitions and that. So that was pretty funny. Um, uh, we um, crossed each other on the trail and found out that he was posting videos on YouTube. Um, so we obviously had things to talk about with that. He said he's seen a fair amount of people on the trail, so I think I just started like a little bit after a few different groups of people did. Um, so yeah, I might be seeing more people today and tomorrow. Canelo Pass Road. natural <laughs> well there's water I don't know if it's public or <laughs> or if it has names on it through okay. hikers please filter water here because I do not have to. I hiked with Ryan for about six miles and I ended up finding a camp spot that was like a little over 19 miles into my day. The, uh, the couple that I met earlier from Vermont ended up camping, uh, setting up camp right next to me. So we are by the, uh, the cow pond. So it is currently sunset and I'm gonna eat some food and go to sleep. I went further than I was planning today. <laughs> so tomorrow I have uh, less than 13 miles to get to Patagonia and then Carson's gonna pick me up. Okay, it is about 7 a.m. I just hit the trail again. Camped last night at the down under tank, or right next to the down under tank, and luckily there were no cows and it ended up being a pretty nice spot, no wind. Yeah. <laughs> There's the uh, little dam there. Bone dry. I am not surprised that somebody lost a tire on this road. Ask me why. So 
what do you do? You usually just turn this. Yep. Too early in the day. Not getting water here. YouTubers in the wild. <laughs> Oh, this cow is walking towards me. Usually water comes out of there, but there is not currently water coming out of there. I think I have about one liter. And I think this is also the last water source. <laughs> but that's okay, I'll serve out. Oh, hey, there's a tent up there. Are those your friends? Yeah. There is water over here. Oh. I could totally get water from that. All right, ran into Kodak this morning um, at the Cot Tank. Um, so we hiked for hiked together until Red Bank Well, I think it's called right here. Um, we both got water. I got a liter, like not totally necessary, but just in case. And he's filtering water, and I'm taking off, but probably gonna take a snack break in a little bit so he'll probably catch up to me again yeah I think like nine ish more miles till Patagonia excuse me hi well if anyone ever wants to sm sponsor me, Mirror Energy. Oh my God, these are so good. Hit me up. <laughs> um, I really like these. They, I've tried three different flavors now and they all have blackstrap molasses in them. So if you don't like molasses, you will not like these. Um, but I happen to like molasses, so these are great. Took like 15, 20 minute break off my feet, my last power break of the trip. And Kodak passed me again um, a little bit ago, so um, might end up passing him again and leapfrogging. But yeah, I think it's less than eight miles to Patagonia. somewhere I'm not very far oh. oh there's Patagonia over there so close so I think Patagonia is this way holy shit there is not a shoulder Should probably walk on the opposite side of the road by far, one of my favorite things that I brought on this trip is this Patagonia sun hoodie. Here we are, Patagonia. Okay, made it to Patagonia and I found some shade at the post office. Um, so I'm sitting here in the shade until Carson picks me up and he is only like five minutes away. We got here like almost at the exact same time, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, and that was 50 miles on the Arizona Trail. Hi. Hi.